Hi friends, Rebecca here, the Dragon Librarian from Farmington Community Library, and Rumpel and I are here today to talk to you about some really great books that we think you might like. So this first one is actually a little bit of a newer book, and it's called Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts by Kate Reculia. Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts. Uh, I won't lie, the title of this book is what uh, like first drew me into it because I was like, what in the world is this about? Is this about ghosts? Is this, what is happening here? Um, it's a little bit about ghosts, but it's more about this one woman named Tuesday Mooney who is a little bit of an introvert. She does not like to socialize unless she has to. She'd rather just stay home watching her television shows that she likes and doing these puzzles um, because she loves puzzles and she loves solving mysteries. Well, when this eccentric billionaire dies and leaves this quest for people to try to uh, solve, and if they do, they'll get all this money, she jumps at the opportunity to do this. Because, like I said, she loves puzzles and she loves figuring things out, but she's going to have to team up with some people to do it. She can't do it on her own. So while this book is absolutely about this huge puzzle game that she has to solve, it's also about her as a character and as a person growing and learning to communicate with people better and how to be a good friend. Um, and it's absolutely phenomenal. The reason uh, the title is what it is um, because there is something in her past that has to do with ghosts. I don't want to say much more than that because I really don't want to give it away. You have to just read this book. It really blew me away. I was hooked right from the first couple pages and could not put it down. Um, it's kind of like a really fun cross between the Westin game and Ready Player One if you've ever read either of those. It's just if you really like mysteries, if you like solving puzzles, um, or if you just like books with characters that are absolutely fantastic, I guarantee that you will enjoy this book a lot. Like I said, I could not put it down. I read it in one weekend um, because it was just so engaging and I not only wanted to find out the answer to this puzzle, but I also wanted to find out what was going to happen with Tuesday and how her life was going to look after all this stuff was over with. So I highly, highly recommend this if you're looking for a fun, engaging book, Tuesday Mooney Talks to Ghosts. Now, this next book is also a little bit of a newer book. It came out in the summer, um, and it's Riley Sager's new book, Home Before Dark. Ooh, look at that cover. Isn't that fantastic? Riley Sager's Home Before Dark. It's his newest book. Um, and it's a thriller, if you couldn't tell already. And it's about this woman named Maggie who, when she was a child, her and her family moved into this old Victorian manor called Bainbury Manor. And they only stayed there for 20 days before fleeing in the middle of the night in terror because of strange events that were happening there. Lights turning on by themselves, a radio turning on by itself, noise, just all these creepy, creepy phenomenon. Well, her father, after this incident when she's little, writes a book about it. Famous, famous book. And it just makes this hall very, it, like, everybody wants to visit it, everyone wants to see what's going on with it. Um, and it's it's made Maggie's life kind of unhappy because now she's got this notoriety with her family um, about this book that he's written. So now fast forward to the present and her father has just passed away and she has inherited this hall. Um, she thought he sold it years ago after they left, but he never did. So now it's hers. So she says, all right, I'm going to go, I'm going to get it fixed up, we're going to sell it. I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. So she goes back. And the things that she took for granted that she doesn't remember, that she thinks maybe didn't happen and her dad was making it up, maybe he wasn't making it up because a lot of the things are starting to happen again. And it's up to Maggie to try to figure out what is actually going on. The thing that's really fun and cool about this book is it's kind of like a book within a book because you're reading about Maggie and her current present circumstances at the manor, but you're also reading chapters that are chapters from the book that her father wrote. So you're getting the story that happened back then from the tale of this book that he wrote versus what's actually happening now in present circumstances. And it's absolutely phenomenal. So many twists and turns I did not see coming held me hooked until the very end. Um, if you're looking for something to get your blood pumping, if you're looking for just a really great thriller um, that's just creepy and mysterious, absolutely. Home Before Dark is what you want to pick up. Um, and Riley Sager is a really famous author who all the thrillers that um, he has written so far, I have just absolutely adored. So... And this is no exception. So like I said, if you're looking for a great thriller, um, Home Before Dark is a good one to, to pick up. 
Well, that's what we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If either of these books look really interesting or exciting to you, please feel free to put them on hold at the Farmington Community Library, and then you can pick them up during our curbside service hours. Thank you so, so much, friends, and have a really great rest of the day.